Oh god, this is so ragged. I'm literally sweating <laughs> because I'm so nervous even though I'm sat talking to myself in a camera in a room on my own. I was gonna post on my page um, about my favorite product at the moment, which I'm literally obsessed with to the point like, I'm going traveling in three weeks uh, for six months and I'm just like, I'm not gonna be able to take it with me and you'll see why in a moment. And I'm stressing about it a little bit. I'm not stressing, but I'm a bit like, oh my God. Um, Cause I literally use it every day, well, every night without fail, um, I'm obsessed. So. This is like a lot harder than it looks. It's really, really hard. Today, we're gonna to talk about coconut oil. Um, I'm gonna talk about the benefits of using the product, how to use it, uh, when the best time is to use it, how to apply it, etc. And just what it's done for me, really, and how it's benefited my skin. Sounds simple, I know. I have the one I use, hues. I have the one I use here, which is nearly empty, as you can see. Um, I've ordered some today. Um, I've always been in the market for a really good moisturiser. To me, I'd rather spend... I'm sweating. Uh, a good wedge and a good moisturiser rather than a foundation because I think skincare um, is really important. Rather than trying to cover up your skin and your... Well, you think they're flaws, imperfections. Um, I'd rather look at skincare first. So, I've always been on the market for a really good moisturiser. Last year, I think it was around about October time, I did some research and I bought the Creme de la Mar. Creme de la Mar? Creme de la Mer? I did loads of research. It's a uh, moisturiser that the Kardashians use and other celebrities. I bought it, paid 120 quid for it, spewing, by the way, spewing, and it literally came like, it was like that big. It was tiny. Um, and to be honest, I would never buy it again um, because the coconut oil, which is 9.99, has done 10 times the wonder that that cream did. My skin um, is okay. It's, it's, I have breakouts now and again, um, probably, you know, when it's the time of the month, etc. Yeah, what it's done for me um, is e just evened out my skin tone completely. I get quite black bags under my eyes because I'm a really bad sleeper. Um, so it's kind of evened out, even the colour under my eyes as well, which is really good. Um, and coconut oil is amazing for um, wrinkles and rejuvenating skin. So definitely when you're applying it, make sure you're putting it under the eyes because I've noticed it's like a, an amazing under eye cream as well, even though it's not a cream, it's an oil. Of it for me as well, not just for my face, but all over my body, I've got quite a lot of scars. Uh, for many reasons. I've noticed my scars, the appearance of my scars is, oh, I don't know what the word is, reduced. My scars are looking a lot more, again, evened out, mellowed down so much. It's, it's amazing. So rubbing oil, even bio oil and things like that, but coconut oil, rubbing it on my body every night is literally, it's helped my scars so much. So I'm really chuffed with that. Okay, so how you use it. Um, I don't recommend you lather it on. If you've got oily skin already, um, I probably wouldn't put it directly onto your skin on its own. I would mix it in with like a moisturiser so it's not as heavy because if you've got oily skin, you may be prone to breakouts and things like that. And if you're adding extra oil on top of that directly onto the skin, that's gonna cause another breakout again. If you've got oily skin and you're prone to breakouts, don't just go slapping it on your face because um, it's going to make it worse. Uh, just mix it in only like a little pea size in with your moisturiser and that should do the job. Definitely say do not put it on in the mornings or in the day or before you do your makeup or anything like that. You need to put it on in the night because you need to allow it to soak into your skin overnight and it does not look attractive at all having a really oily face. It just doesn't. You may have seen on my makeup page a post about skincare, cleansing, toning, moisturising, skincare routine, etc. If you haven't, check it out. Um, it's just little tips on what to do, what products to use, etc. If you want me to do a video about it, I'd be more than happy to do a video once I get this one out of the way and see, see where we go. Don't just take your makeup off with a makeup wipe and then slap loads of oil on because your pores and stuff are still going to be clogged. You need a proper cleanse, tone and moisturise 
cleanse twice, tone, make sure you have a completely clean face and then put the oil on. When you go to bed you're going to think, shit, I am oily as. But when you wake up, all of it, or majority of it, I'd say 95% of it is soaked into your skin and you actually wake up and you look health, you've got this like glow. Do when you wake up in the morning, uh, again, don't be applying makeup straight away or more moisturiser or anything like that. Give your face a splash of water, dab it with a towel, never rub, and just to get any excise, excise? <laughs> excess oil off uh, before you go put in any other products or anything on top. If you're like myself, I do love tanning. Um, I have tan Fridays every Friday. Um, and if you're like me and you like tanning and everything like that, you will know how much of a ball ache it is to exfoliate your tan off uh, once a week when it comes down to it. I hate it. You literally, I'm there in the shower rubbing my skin raw. It's literally coming out. It's so painful and red just trying to get all the tan off. I've been rubbing it on my body as well every night without fail. And I just find my my tan is just, it fades all one colour. It, fade, it just, throughout the week, because it lasts about a week, it just all fades really evenly. And by the time you get to the seventh day and you're ready to tan again, it literally, well, it's more or less all come off. It's all faded really evenly. And if you do have any um, patches of tan left or any tan left on the skin, it literally comes off so easy because you've kept your skin really hydrated and moisturized, intent, like intense moisturized throughout the week. It is so easy to come off. If you're a tanner, coconut oil up your body every single night without fail because it just life is so much easier now. Okay, so other ways you can use coconut oil. I use it on my lips. Um, I've got really dry lips. I think because they're always been big. People think about my lips then I haven't. Um, when I was younger I used to get quite upset. I used to get called names. Because they are on the larger scale, I've always suffered with my lips. They've, they're always, no matter what the weather, if we're on holiday and we're in heat, they bleed. Mm. And if it's cold, obviously they get really chapped and dry, um, so they're just always bad. I use it, when I just rub it on my face, I just rub it over my lips as well. And it's also really good because I've got um, a bit of skin darts. Um, oh my God, I can't speak today. Sun damage. Sun damage, yeah. Sun damage um, on the top of my lip there, which looks like lip liner. Um, and I've actually noticed it's kind of like faded since I've started been putting coconut oil on. Gonna use my fork. Let's see what else we can get out of it. I know it's a bit cheating. Okay, so benefits. Reduces fine lines and wrinkles. I concur. It's an anti-inflammatory, which helps with severe skin problems as well, like eczema. Meant to be really good for eczema. I've read that loads about coconut oil. And like I said, it's like nine pound. Don't go spending 120 pound on creme de la mar like I did. For God's sakes. It's very good for cracked heels. Now, if you're watching this, Missy, there's a friend of mine who suffers really bad with cracked heels. We had this discussion the other day. Rub the coconut oil in your into your feet wherever it's cracked and dry. Put on a pair of socks, wear them to bed. Hate wearing socks to bed. It's like my worst nightmare. You just feel so claustrophobic, man. So I always sleep with like my feet hanging out the end of the quilt because it just makes me claustral. You can use it as an exfoliant, which I'm quite intrigued on trying. Um, if you put it in with sugar or salt, so just make it up in a bowl, put a bit of oil, a bit of sugar and salt, mix it all together, and you can have it as a little exfoliant, which is a good idea. I'm surprised my camera isn't overheated, yeah. To help skin heal faster after injury or infection, which I can confirm. I was going to stick my leg in the air, but oh no, <laughs> just in case. I haven't got pants on, so well, I've got pants on, no trousers. As you do. Oh, this one's a good one. When used consistently on the skin, it can help get rid of cellulite, which we all want a bit of that. Well, we don't want it, we want to get rid of it. Natural shave cream or after sun lotion. It can be used on the vagina as natural personal lubricant that won't disturb. I was going to say vaginal flow, but it's vaginal flora. Haven't tried that personally, but apparently you can. Excellent. By itself is a great tanning oil. I'm not recommending you rub yourself in tanning oil and then go out in the sun because that is just asking for it. Rub it into your elbows daily. Yeah, because we've all got dry elbows. Why are elbows so dry? They're literally like so dry. When you buy a product, don't use it for a day or a week and then give up on it. Okay, so I know some of you are going to go out, buy this coconut oil 
and then in a week's time you're going to be like that Louise, I don't know what she's talking about, it's rubbish, it's done nothing for me and it gets put in the cupboard and left. Don't do that, okay? Give products a chance, please give it three to four weeks. Also, who's used it on their hair? Someone I know has used it on their hair before. Be Nicole. Hi Nicole. Yeah, really good for hair repair as well apparently. And that's it. Hope you found this video beneficial. Completely shamed and dying. It's horrible. Try it. It's not as easy as it looks. I don't know how people do it online. Because I'm literally sweating. Sorry it's not makeup related. It's no good looking for the best foundations to cover up you know, all your flaws and imperfections. We've got to try and learn to love ourselves without makeup sometime. Well, we should all the time, but um, concentrating on skincare first is really important. Um, but obviously I do love makeup as well. I'm a makeup artist. I love doing makeup. I love wearing makeup. I love talking about makeup. I'm obsessed with it. But I'm also, I love skincare and having good skin to me is really important. So yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> Chuffed all round us. These are the areas we want to get where those wrinkles are and those bags. That's where we want to put the bad boy. Yeah, I'm talking shit. I'm laughing.